Hello everyone, welcome to Billion Stories. This luxury vehicle would have been fit for any special occasion, such as a wedding, prom night, birthday, or a night out on the town. As well as being used for daily activities, they were also used for special dates. We know one thing for sure. A limousine rental gives you a comfortable, time-saving, luxurious experience. It will add comfort, style, and luxury to your life. Even in a busy traffic lane, you can be productive or simply relax and enjoy the scenery. If you use a limousine service, you give off a great impression. Taking a ride in it will create memories you'll cherish forever. The luxury vehicle, once a sign of wealth and social status, has all but vanished in recent years. What happened to limousines? First, let's dig a bit into the history of limousines. Limousines, the symbol of luxury, status, and high class, have evolved beyond their traditional use. The concept of chauffeur transportation has existed in some form or another since the 17th century. Originally designed to serve the wealthy, they were gold-plated carriages drawn by only the finest animals. The first limousine automobile was introduced in Paris, France, in 1889. Limousine comes from the French word limousin, which refers to a former French province filled with farmland and shepherds. For body warmth, the French people wore a black cloak on cold winter nights spent in rural France. Limousines used to have closed passenger compartments with the driver exposed to the elements. It was said that the enclosed portion of the car looked like the cloaks that shepherds used in the countryside. As a result, the term limousine was coined to describe chauffeur transportation. Around 1928, Armbruster's company in Arkansas created the first stretch limousine. In the United States, these vehicles were often called big band buses because they were usually used to transport famous big band leaders, orchestras, and instruments. Limousines began to gain popularity in the 1930s. In addition to transporting hotel guests from the airport to the hotel, they were also used for sightseeing tours. As a result, the term airport or stretch coach was formed. Movie studios immediately jumped on board when they became aware of the growing popularity of these vehicles. Limousines were utilized to transport film crew and stage workers around movie sites. Limousines became a popular accessory for movie performers and actresses at the time. The six-door limousine was created not long after. These cars were usually used for funerals and were built on Cadillac chassis. The popularity of limousines continued to grow over time. They were used to transport everyone from movie stars to the U.S. president anywhere they wanted to go. Many countries, particularly the United States, have introduced governmental no-drink-drive policies, which require passengers and vehicles to be separated from the driver and not display open alcohol containers. Those policies have resulted in an increase in limousine use due to the comfort, style, and other luxury aspects. What exactly happened to all the limos? Not so long ago, limousines could be found in abundance in every city. Nightclubs, ball games, high-rise apartments, and boardroom meetings were all within reach of the luxury vehicle's occupants. Nonetheless, the limousine had almost disappeared from the streets of the city. It is unusual to see one now, almost startling in this world of black SUVs. This disappearance of the limousine wasn't the result of one huge change, but a series of smaller ones that came together to make a larger change relating to safety, human behavior, and radical change. Limousines are currently operating in a regulatory gray zone. Independent manufacturers heavily modify each vehicle after it leaves the factory as a car or SUV without following strict federal guidelines, removing vital support structures before welding in new components. Some regulations do exist, but they differ from state to state. As a result of vague standards and mandates, the limousine market is ripe with uncertainty. It is possible that we may not be aware that there is a problem until something goes wrong. In 2018, the Schoharie accident showcased the safety concerns surrounding limousines. The brakes failed on a 2001 Ford Excursion limousine traveling downhill in upstate New York, causing it to gain speeds of 100 miles per hour, leading it to lose control and crash into a ravine killing 17 passengers and the driver as well as two bystanders. After further investigation, it was discovered that the limo failed a safety inspection a month before. Even though the vehicle was originally designed to accommodate only nine people, nearly two decades later its capacity was doubled. In addition to the standard inspections and scrutiny, occupants of limousines rarely adhere to traditional traffic laws. Research conducted by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety found that those who ride in hired vehicles are less careful about wearing seatbelts than those traveling in private cars. 
In 2016, former Suffolk County District Attorney Thomas Spoda said, without safe safety standards, it's like the difference between a stretch limousine and a hearse. Very little is indeed being done to improve limousine safety, but New York passed several limousine laws in 2021 as a result of the Schoharie accident. The overarching, enduring lack of regulation is one of the reasons limos have lost favor. They are a hazard on the road. It was evident in recent years that SUVs had grown enormously in size. The size of SUVs has increased due to improved safety features, creature comforts, and generational changes. The growing popularity of SUVs reflects the demand for them. Our priorities are bigger and better, so we get more of those things in return. Interestingly, this also might shed light on our declining interest in limousines. How did we survive without these massive, modern SUVs? As a group, how did we travel to different places in comfort and style? Our options were available, but they weren't as practical as we'd hoped, nor did they meet our needs. In a taxi, for instance, only a handful of passengers can fit, and they have never been invited. A town car could also be hired, but its size again deterred us. At one time, our options were limited to limos. Limousines and SUVs have an inverse relationship. Luxury vehicles of the past become obsolete as we become more accustomed to luxurious cars like the Cadillac Escalade. Moreover, why would anyone hire a limo when a luxury SUV can accommodate almost as many occupants and offer more comfort? A few taps on your phone can also arrange for it to arrive at your door within minutes. The reason we're leaving limousines behind isn't that we dislike them, we've simply created an ecosystem of better alternatives. Your phone may hold the last piece of the limousine puzzle. The easiest way to shuttle from one place to another with friends is to use a rideshare service. Every day, Uber and Lyft transport millions of people around the globe, and nearly 25% of people in the United States use ride-sharing at least once a month. Today, we prefer to hail a luxury car rather than search for, compare, and book limousine services, much as we do with the convenience of a modern SUV. There are even ride-sharing companies such as Uber and Lyft that offer luxury services for those looking for a refined, limousine-like experience. Today, limousines are still used to transport the rich and famous, but they are also designed to carry a much greater number of passengers. However, we do not want old, outdated, strangely smelling cars created without government oversight in a garage that is undisclosed. Our priority is simplicity and safety, and there is nothing more convenient than tapping a screen a few times to summon a luxury car to your door in minutes. This leaves the door open to someone eager and courageous enough to bring the limousine back to life in some way. Yes, they need to upgrade old vehicles that have been driving the roads for years, make sure they're safe, and make it easy for me to arrange for one through my phone, but does that seem too difficult? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way. Thanks for watching.